So, while exploring the other day, I noticed behind the tree the most awesome valley you can think of. And it was glorious and right next to my kingdom. But the neighborhood kingdom, uh, that is like, like 10 miles away or something, they liked the valley as well and they offered me some money for it. So, it was a lot of money actually. So, yeah, we, we moved the valley to them so they had a better uh, kingdom than I had. So, right now there's nothing to see behind the trees at my place anyway. Does it make sense? No, not really. But anyway, welcome to Talk Us Reviews. Hello. Today we're talking about Isle of Sky, from Chieftain to King. This game takes the known mechanism from Carcassonne and alters it to something very new. Let's check it out. So the game, Isle of Sky from Chieftain to King, is a small box and it does not have a large footprint on the table. Well, it does actually, because you need some space for, for your actions, because these are moving around and the towns are expanding. But notice, the towns, or the uh, kingdoms, are their own. So you have your kingdom to worry about and the other players have their kingdom to worry about, so you can't mess with other players. Uh, in Kagasone you place tiles and then you place uh, small meeples or people on the tiles to make points. That is completely removed from this game and you make points other ways. Also you can bargain about the pieces, you can sell them to other players or rather they will buy from you. But I have to explain that rule, uh, but first let's see what makes points in this game. So the game lasts either 6 rounds or 5 rounds depending on the number of players. This is 5 players and this is 2 to 4 players. And we have this large tile of uh, scoring tokens, we shuffle them, and we put out four of them in the windows, like so. So that we see, in the round one, we score whatever is in window A, and round two, B, round three, A and C, and so forth. So each window is scored three times. Everything is on this sheet of paper here, and it all makes sense, and it's a lot of variety for each game. So let's find out how the game actually works. Each player has this player screen, that is to hide whatever we have behind here. This player also has one of these axe tokens that you can axe away a piece. So, uh, on every round, each player draws three tiles and places them in front of them. So we do, we do this at the same time. And I choose this axe to point at one of the pieces. That piece is going to go back, uh, away. And the other pieces I have to price either to pay myself or for the other players to get. So, at the same time, we reveal Okay, I axed this piece, it goes back in the bag with other pieces as well. Now these pieces are for sale. So if someone buys this from me, they take the piece, give me 5 gold, and I keep the 5 gold as at the surprise. But no one bought this one, so I pay to the bank, and I get this piece for myself. Hooray! Included with a potential other piece I bought this round. And this, this mechanism here, this alters Carcassonne completely to another level. This is gamer's Carcassonne. Uh, often you find yourself, okay, uh, I could get uh, four gold for this and three for this because he wants that and he wants that, so okay, I'll maybe I'll do that with five, five. I can get five maybe. And someone buys it from you. Hooray, you got five gold and you keep the five you, you placed there. But then there's a time when, oh, I really, really need this piece, okay. No one's going to buy it from me, I'm going to buy it myself. Haha. No one has that amount of money, right? And they buy it. No, not that piece. It's. Ah! Okay, yeah, I got a lot of gold for next round, but I, I needed that one. And that feeling is all around the table. You see someone else buying a piece before them, and the pieces that they want from themselves are bought, and it's, it's just great. Uh, it's a great way to do it. So, I need to mention one thing, that is the catch-up mechanism. Uh, say it's round 3, and the score is like this. Uh, usually you get income based on the value you have in your kingdom. But then, in this round, the green player will get one money for each player in front of him in the uh, scoring track. And here we get two money for each, and four money for each, in plus his inc normal income. So it's a great way to catch up if you're behind. So, in the end, Money is worth points, not a lot, but then you have a lot of buying power also at the end. You can buy whatever you want, and it just works very great. Okay, so there we have it. 
Isle of Sky from Chieftain to King. This game has completely, completely replaced Carcassonne, and it's it provides a, a whole new level of engagement in the game. And in Carcassonne, you play tile and you score points with the meeples, and it wears thin uh, during the game. But in this game, it's always interesting, especially in the later rounds when you start seeing what people are going to score for and these windows here. And the dynamic is extremely good. I like the game a lot, so run and buy it. Come on, are you still watching? <laughs> oh, okay, it's a bit extreme. But this game is a lot of fun. I do enjoy it a lot, and I've played it many times already, and it just came out, so yeah, it's varied scoring points, varied players, and everything just works very well. So, there's my definite recommendation I love Sky. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like what I do, please check out my Patreon account, and uh, well, see for yourself. Okay, thanks for watching, see ya.